everything that has changed history has done so through movements. Movements of families, political parties, religions, sports teams, music have all moved people and changed the world through the vehicle of movements. The question begs, what is a movement and how do you start one? I'm Ivan Mawadire. I will teach you three key takeaways that I have learned from my personal experience of starting a movement. A movement is a growing collaboration of people united in the achievement of a goal or a cause. I started a citizens movement in Zimbabwe that mobilized 12 million people to stand up to the brutality of the Zimbabwean dictatorship. For that, I was jailed, tortured, but we carried on helping people find their courage. What is fascinating about movements is that they are as much about people moving an idea or an agenda as they are about the idea or agenda moving through people that is from person to person and the idea becoming better as the people move it forward. And that leads me to takeaway number one, from moment to movement. Movements begin life as moments. I like to think this is why they are called movements, because they are moving moments. If you trace every movement back to its origin, you will find that it began with a person in a moment. It may have been a tragic moment, an inspiring moment, a shocking moment, or, or a eureka moment. But, but that moment inspired that one person to, to amplify what they realized or what they felt in that moment. This is exactly how I began the movement in Zimbabwe. It was a movement that inspired millions of people to stand up to a dictator. My moment of anger, despair, and frustration made me realize that something had to be done to change things. The goal of this campaign was to raise more and more Zimbabweans to not be afraid anymore and to spread that message, allow it to catch on like a virus. When other people understood and identified with my moment and they, they saw themselves in that moment too, they wanted to amplify it and a movement was born. We don't want corrupt leadership. We suffered enough. A movement is essentially an idea being moved by people through time. And that leads us to takeaway number two. Move me, not them. It always starts with me, with you. You see, we will never be able to move people for an idea until we ourselves have moved for the idea. It was only when people saw me publicly castigating this corrupt government and getting arrested for it that they heeded the call when I said, come and join me to change this nation. I moved first. The government can no longer push around citizens. You can't just do that and get away with it. We have a voice. People don't join stagnant messages. They join moving messages. You've got to be a moving message. People don't follow silence. They follow voices. So a movement starts with figuring out how to move me for the moment that I had on my own. Takeaway number three, movement begets movement. The more you move, the more you want to move more. And when people see something move, the more they want to help it move more. In simpler words, moving an idea creates opportunities to move the idea with more people. The thing you'll discover about building a movement is that at a certain point, every action you take 
generates the impetus for the next move. In other words, the more you act on or amplify the idea, the more it propels itself forward. It's like those electric rental bikes you get in cities. When you put in half a cycle, it gives you even more speed. I remember so clearly from building our movement, the more I set small campaigns in motion to challenge the dictatorship, the more people joined and the further the message reached. When our movement challenged the governor of Zimbabwe's Reserve Bank to a debate concerning his failing currency, everybody thought we were crazy. We upped the ante in speaking truth to power. And boy, did it pay off. Starting and sustaining a movement is about understanding that the movement will pay us back with forward motion and momentum when we have put in the actions and commitments that move it even just slightly. In those three key takeaways, from moment to movement, move me, not them, and movement begets movement, I've given you a basic but practical blueprint to starting and sustaining a movement. So if a moment has moved you, you could very well be sitting on the precipice of a world-changing movement. So, move. <laughs>